Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Basic Bloke Show. I am joined by Eric. And hello, today, Joel. hello. I'm always doing that. I'm always I, I like, this is my minion and he Did will it. talk soon. Yes. Do if as I... I say, I will give you these questions to respond to. <laughs> if I don't Go. tell, this is my moment to talk. This is, this is the most I say in the whole of the no. podcast. <laughs> now we all listen He just pulled Eric. a cord. You just pull the cord and let me go. Yeah. I just like, I just, uh, what is the most triggering question I can ask an older gamer? Yeah, um, and it's usually everything under the sun. Everything. Anyway, mm -hmm. so Dan Clancy has basically hinted that he's going to be removing my Prime service. We had a talk about it on the last episode. But today we're going to talk about how do you earn money as a content creator? I th and I don't think, I think we can go beyond just like a, a Twitch streamer. Because yeah. there are many ways to make revenue. Exactly. How are you making revenue at the moment? Oh, OnlyFans. Not... I have an OnlyFans account. I show my massive old gamer thingy, and it's making me zero dollars. No. The the fun fact is, when I was on Twitch, right? We'll go back a bit. When I was on Twitch, of course, I relied on subs and bits and stuff like that. But now that I'm on TikTok, the whole revenue scenario has changed quite a bit. TikTok, because, because TikTok actually takes 70% of, from your gifts and also from your, I think also from your subs, they take a bit, they take a bit of chunk, but here's the thing is like TikTok actually pushes your content. Like it will push your content if it's right content and your lives are doing well, it will, it will generate an audience for you. If you're doing things like, right, that you're getting enough likes and shares, get enough interaction in your chat. Also, when you're getting enough revenue in your stream as well. But are you right there, Dom? You're in pain or something, mate? No, I, I had I was burping. But I didn't want oh, to okay. I thought you sat on something in, inappropriate. No, I was like, I didn't, yeah. oh, poor. Oh. Yeah. What are you sitting on? I, I, okay, you're sitting I'm on your drink. Yeah. Yes. But anyway, but as I was saying, TikTok it takes it. <laughs> We're going all over the place right now. But as I was saying. You, what's cool about TikTok is like you can make revenue off there and it's not like a monthly basis. You can actually take that money out whenever you like, depending on how much you've earned on TikTok. But what's been really good is I've joined a legit agency and I'm joining in live events and these live events will actually encourage you, depending on your ranking, you'll get some more diamonds, which is currency on TikTok. And also you get approached by brands and sponsors who want to do some work with you. And this is the humdinger. Look, you can't rely on your audience to give you money every time you go live. You have to look on the back end of it and see, okay, what promotions can I do? What collabs can I do? What companies that appeal to me that I would like to approach them? So you approach those companies, see what you can deal with them. And nine times out of 10, you might get a no, but being persistent, trying to work on it, helps you out in the long run. And then maybe a long-term contract a long-term sponsorship or partnership can be actually financially beneficial beneficial for you but these are things that i'm still working on myself and hopefully things will definitely improve for me during the year but a lot of people just rely on subs and bits and donations when they go live and they don't think okay when you're not live how else am i going to make money so making promotional ads and, and and videos for other companies that are, you, relate to you can be ways of making finan uh, financial gain, and which I have. I worked with an indie game. They paid me uh, some money to do a promotional indie thing for their game, and I made some money out of that. That was really nice, and we just did that recently. So these are things that people need to look into. Don't just rely on subs and donations and bits on when you go live. There's other alternatives you can do to do that, but that's the problem. Everyone just narrows it down to there and think, oh, I only make money when I go live. Maybe your offline content, like making decent videos, companies might see that and say, hey, look, that was a really good review that you did about that game or something or that, or the controller you did. Would you like to work with us? And we'll give you some stuff. Maybe we'll even pay you. People don't see it that way or feel that they're not good enough to do it. Agreed. I've got a question that pops up quite a lot in the creator space that isn't necessarily unique to Twitch and streaming and all that. And that's if you are a very beginner you've never done this before no experience do you should you or would you monetize from the very start should you aim to earn money from the get -go? no i think if you're a very small streamer people look at your numbers 
people look at your numbers and they see what you're worth. And I think if you're starting straight up, like you got like maybe 50 people and you're monetizing everything, I feel that people might be put off by that. But if they see there's a bit of a history there, a bit of numbers there, a bit of you've been around for a bit doing something and you're building up your channel, then people see that worth and go, okay, maybe I will monetize. I'll buy something of this or something to this. But I think from the get go, I think that's a lot of people because I think nine, nine times out of 10, if you're starting up, you wouldn't know, have a frigging clue what you're worth, right? You wouldn't have a clue. You come into this, you go, oh, because I've seen a lot of people go sub this, sub that, and all this stuff. But I think once you start getting familiar with the territory and on whatever platform you're on, maybe then you can work out, okay, maybe I can do this and do that. And I said, the best thing to do is probably get a social media manager to find out what you're worth. Dom, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And maybe they can help you, like they've helped me, work my worth out. So that's another thing. If you're dead serious about making money on this platform, you need to tick all the boxes and work with somebody to help you get where you're going if you want to make financial gain out of this. If you're dead serious about making money on from streaming alone, or okay, don't hire a fucking social media manager, you will not make a return. Just you won't be able to fucking afford it. No, um, no but you're cheap to me, Dom. Uh, wow. But, but I'm saying, what I'm saying, no, but what I'm saying is if you're building up your empire and you're starting to get somewhere and you want to see like more turnover, then it would be, would be advisable to get someone to help you with that. Who's got yeah, some if knowledge. You have success. Your hit yeah. point. Okay. If you have, if you have success in streaming or social media, mm. you will hit a point where you will not be able to create and manage your socials at the same time. Yeah. You, you need someone to help you. will not be able to do it. Which is why I think when you start off in any kind of like form of online mm. presence, you should monetize from the start. Because, really? yeah, because otherwise you get to a point, right, where you're doing so much management and so much creation mm. and you've got no revenue behind it. And then mm. you've got to start like, I know mm. the longer you wait, the bigger the ask you can do. If you have no means of capital generation behind it, you, but you essentially you're starting that bit from the very beginning. And yeah, then, fair enough. like, and we're not talking about our oh, Tim who's like posting one video. We're talking about like people who are in our position where we're posting 30, 50, 100 mm. videos a day across mm. multiple social channels. It's just fucking un unmanageable. Mm. So you've really got to, you need a, a way to make that sustainable. But yeah, that's a conversation. A lot of people simply just cannot have because they are earning zero capital at the moment. If you had to start over again on on the social, they, yeah, let's call it just online entertainment. What would you do differently in terms of monetizing? That's a good one. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm definitely trying to work, make sure that my content is worth monetizing like really work mm. out and flesh out my content to make sure that, that the stuff that they see is worth the dollars that they're willing to part give to me for my content. So that's something I would definitely look into. I would look at my content and say, okay, would I pay four bucks for this? Would I pay five bucks for this? Is this valid enough? Is this good enough? And I'd really just hone on the skills of content and then work on that before I even considered getting any monetization. That's just me though. I'd really want to hone on the skills work on that and, and then for, then work on how to monetize the stuff that I'm about to generate. Fair enough. Would you still do older gamer stuff if you had to restart over? I would. I would because I feel that's something that, that's done really well for me and I feel that it struck a chord with a lot of people. It's something I would like to make something that relates to not only to me but to others as well. All right. So I think that's what you want in your content is something that people go, oh, I can relate to this person. And that's what you look for in everyday life. You want to feel relatable to people. You want to feel that you feel like you're in their shoes or they can, or they get you or they understand you. The moment you separate yourself from your viewers or your community, that's when it shit hits the fan. Mm. Very interesting. Mm. Anyway, we will revisit this topic, no doubt, somewhere through 2024. 
But until then, have a great week, everyone. And if you have any thoughts on monetizing your streams and content, then let us know in the comments below. But until then, we'll be back with more basic flow.